Professor Ronald Dworkin once described the common law and the process of interpreting legislation as being like a chain novel, where there's one story, the story of the law, the story of justice, the story of history, but many judges as contributing authors over the centuries. Each author, each judge, develops the story just a little, but does so in a way that is faithful to the story which has already been written. Dworkin wrote, Each novelist aims to make a single novel of the material he has been given. What he adds to it, and, so far as he can control this, what his successors will want or be able to add. He must try to make this the best novel it can be, construed as the work of a single author, rather than, as is the fact, the product of many different hands. This idea that a judge has responsibilities to those who have made previous decisions, responsibilities to the litigants before the court right now, and responsibilities to those who will be affected in the future by a new precedent, has really resonated with judges in common law countries. In 2017, Justice James Edelman, a former commercial and criminal lawyer, former judge of the Supreme Court of Western Australia, and former judge of the Federal Court of Australia, was appointed to the bench of the High Court of Australia. Following custom, the court had a ceremonial sitting to swear him in and welcome him to the bench. At that sitting, Justice Edelman said, Ronald Dworkin once described the process of adjudication by a metaphor of a chain novel with each judge writing a part of the story. Where the story contradicts itself, to use the words of Isaac Isaacs in a different context, the judge needs to evolve order out of chaos. The metaphor may not be perfect, but looking backwards, the continuity of the common law can seem like a chain novel. As judges decide cases between litigants, the story evolves, usually slowly, as each judge attempts to write that which is true to the story, and when the texture is truly open, both true and right in the sense of consistent with the underlying values of the law. I am deeply conscious of the increased responsibility that I now bear in that process. A perfect example of a jurisprudence theorist having a very real effect in our highest court. Mm -hmm.